What if I told you that early next year we're going to have an AI so powerful that you can't even imagine it? You probably think, yeah, yeah, heard this before. Another hyped up AI. And I'd usually be inclined to agree with you, but I'm not so sure about this one. This looks like it could be the legit real deal. I think we could very easily see something special here. Something truly unique and life changing for us all. In this video, we're going to discuss Google's Gemini AI. We'll look at how it was created, how it stacks up against ChatGPT in the AI battle of the titans, and assuming Google keeps its promises, what it'll actually be able to do that's different to any AI that we have now. But first, what even is Gemini AI? It seems as a new ChatGPT destroying AI released every other day, and I aim to separate the facts from the hype. Google, like many others, is currently being dominated by ChatGPT. Their barred AI just doesn't compare to the level of ChatGPT. It's not even close. So they've created a new AI, Gemini, and they've invested an ungodly amount of resources into this thing. I imagine Gemini's mission statement to be, we will not lose to Sam Altman again. They've probably got a dartboard with his face on it in the office. For the past few years, Google's had a team working 24-7 around the clock to create an AI set to dominate the competition. And considering the massive chunk of the internet that Google already owns, assuming they've pulled this off, they will quite literally own the internet. So to achieve this monumental task, Google merged two AI powerhouses into one. We have the Google Brain Team, who are owned by Google, who are a research group focusing on artificial intelligence and machine learning, whose primary mission was to advance the field of deep learning and artificial neural nets. And then there is DeepMind, an independent artificial intelligence company founded in London in 2010. Although it wasn't until 2014 when they started making serious waves in the reinforcement learning area of AI with their work on AlphaGo that Google took notice. So naturally, Google bought them and then unified the teams under one entity known simply as Google Deep Mind and their new mission to solve intelligence, to advance science, and to benefit humanity. And their less public side mission to destroy ChatGPT. So, how has Gemini been created? How has it been trained? Well, considering it's got the AI dream team working on it, and you seriously don't get much better than these lot, according to Google, it's been trained on a scale that is almost unimaginable. We know that Google under their parent company, Alphabet, possesses an absolutely insane amount of big data. As I said before, they already own a massive piece of the internet. And so this data allows them to train Gemini on an unprecedented scale. Just as two examples, it's trained on 25 million digital books and the entirety of YouTube. I alone have created enough videos to provide a substantial amount of of training for one little AI to work with. I might actually do that. Moving on. And I'm just one of millions of YouTubers. There are 500 hours of video content uploaded to YouTube every minute. This adds up to approximately 720,000 hours of new content uploaded every day. To put that into perspective, for a human to watch 720,000 hours of video content continuously, let's say for 14 hours a day, you'd have to be a mental person to try this. Maybe Mr. Beast can do it or something. It would take approximately 141 years. So to even watch one day's worth of content is undoable. You'd be dead before you finished it. And that's just a fraction of the data that Gemini has been trained on. In total, Gemini has been trained on approximately 5 trillion tokens. And I know that some of you might know what these are, but for those who don't, let me quickly explain. I'll use a metaphor. So training an AI is like teaching it a language using a giant jigsaw puzzle. Each piece of the puzzle is a bit of information, a token, like a word or a sentence or even a part of a word. So just imagine this puzzle has 5,000 billion pieces. And now the AI examines all of these pieces to understand how words and sentences 
sentences interconnect to make sense. So just as completing a full jigsaw puzzle gives you the full picture, the AI, after seeing so many pieces, learns to speak, write, and understand language like a human. And so the more pieces or tokens it sees, the better it gets at understanding the human language. And so with Gemini, this process, as I said, has involved 5,000 billion pieces. Probably better said as 5 trillion. And that's before we delve into the code only tokens, which is a whole other video. Now, to train something at that scale, you need an insane amount of raw computational power. And I'm by no means a master at understanding this yet. But from the research I've done and to the best of my understanding, not only does Gemini have a much larger data set to work with, its puzzle pieces, its tokens, but it's also been trained using using Google's cutting edge TPU V5 chips. Now these chips are capable of operating 16,384 units at the same time. Let me try to break it down with a simple analogy that helped me to understand it. Imagine Gemini is a super intelligent robot being taught with a vast amount of books, videos and all the other massive data sets that Google owns that we've already talked about. And so that's the information, but the real game changer is the teaching method. You can have all the information in the world, but if your teacher you're not going to understand it. So Google is using something like a super-powered brain, the TPU V5 chips. Now think of your home computer as one single tiny brain. Now imagine Gemini being taught by 16,000 of these brains all working simultaneously. That's an incredible amount of brain power. It's like having an entire army of super-intelligent teachers dedicated to Gemini alone. And this special brain power is something that only Google possesses and is a major reason why Gemini should be so smart and quick to learn. It's like having the most legendary team ever assembled with near unlimited resources to train the most advanced contender in the game of understanding how humans work. What we are promised with Gemini is truly, truly astounding. It's hard to grasp how significantly better this could be. It's unfathomable. Okay, so now we know how it's been created and what we've been promised, assuming this isn't all hyped up nonsense, which honestly I have no reason to believe. Why would they lie? They'll just look like morons afterwards if that was the case. So the real question now is how will it compare to ChatGPT? Well, ChatGPT was only trained on 300 billion of these tokens that we've been talking about. And since Gemini has 5,000 billion tokens, it's got a 4.7 trillion token advantage. Advantage. This extra collection gives Gemini a much larger range of knowledge, more examples, and diverse perspectives. It's got access to more stories, facts, and ideas. Just as a person with more books can learn and understand more about the world, Gemini can do the same, making its responses potentially far more accurate and insightful than ChatGPT's. So to directly compare it, Gemini has had access to 60 times more data, and it's got the best teachers in the world. So logically, it should be at least 60 times better than ChatGPT. How this will look and whether they'll pull it off in the way they are promising, we'll have to wait and see. But if they do pull it off, what will Gemini actually be able to do that's so different to what we have now? Well, this leads me to my final point. Firstly, ChatGPT is just a large language model, whereas Gemini is a multimodal model. Whereas ChatGPT can only understand text, Gemini will be capable of interacting with and understanding videos, pictures, sound, voice, and text simultaneously. Imagine feeding it your favorite music video, your favorite music track, your favorite movie, your favorite picture, and then prompting it using text or voice to combine them all to create an entirely new song with its own new video incorporating everything you've just fed it. Who knows? 
knows what it'll spit back at you. But from what I can tell, it's going to be something that we haven't seen before. It could be like asking Kanye West to write you a new tune, and not only is he there to do it for you, he whips it up and hands it back in a couple of seconds. And that's just one hypothetical scenario from me. And I'm nothing special. Who knows what people will come up with? Whatever you can imagine doing with it, you can try. How effective will the results be? That's something we'll have to wait and see. I truly hope it isn't overhyped. This could be the tool of tools. I already use ChatGPT for certain tasks, and I feel like I've gained an employee with the things that it can do. I'm still missing an editor and a reliable script proofreader, though. Just saying, apply below. But from what Google has promised us, it seems like we are about to gain an entire team of employees who are 60 times smarter. So maybe I'll get my editor and script proofreader. It's looking likely that Gemini is going to redefine the boundaries of what AI can achieve. All we can do is wait and see. I'm incredibly excited for it, and I wish they would hurry up. The second I get my hands on it, there will be a video, don't you worry. Okay, so now you know the most up-to-date available information on Gemini. It's looking like it's going to crush ChatGPT, but what about other competitors other than ChatGPT? Not many people are talking about what Elon Musk is developing, which is why I made a video on it that you should watch next. Thanks for watching. Peace.